And the unfortunate thing about it, you know, we in the private sector now happens to be victim of this um, unfortunate um, experience. Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Harimen Yoji Arenga. Wow, today I'm about to talk to someone very, very important. So I want you to kindly pay attention and listen to what this wonderful person had to say. Can we meet you, please? I am Adesoji Nestor. Where do you come from? I am from Lagos. So, please, um, can you kindly tell us your own opinion about the year 2020? Hmm, 2020. A big year, I must say. Um, it has its positives and its um, negatives, its ups and downs. But I can confidently say that it's been of more of negatives than the positive. Like um, I said, it's been of uh, more of negatives than the positives. <clears throat> you know, um, year 2020. Uh, Actually, at uh, the very beginning, you know, happens to be a year that we, I had a lot of great expectations. I had my aspirations, and um, but unfortunately, <laughs> the pandemic came, and uh, we had to struggle through it all. Uh, Survival became, you know, something very challenging. You know, I'm sure a lot of people uh, share the same experience, uh, like myself. And, you know, children back from school, uh, and because I remember my daughter, you know, just started her examinations, and you can see there has been some kind of delay in a program, um, you see, I don't, I don't know. 2020, I must say, has been very, very terrible. Very, very terrible. Work, business, uh, really affected. But in all, we survived it. We survived it. And the unfortunate thing about it, you know, we in the private sector now happens to be victim of this um, unfortunate um, experience, you see, and you know, no work, no pay, that has been our story, except for people, you know, working in the government uh, parastatals, where somehow they are still being paid, you know, at the end of every month, and um, so it was really, really challenging, it was, it was really terrible. And the, the, the painful thing about this, I'm a taxpayer. I'm a taxpayer, and then unfortunately, the, the government, the legal state government, uh, couldn't even do anything, you know, to, you know, uh, in a way, try to support um, taxpayers who are in the private parastatals. So then I just wonder then, why are we paying tax? Well, we have our contemporaries in the government uh, parastatals being paid. At least there should have been something little, no matter how little, to show that, yeah, we are also recognized being taxpayers as well. But nothing to show for it. But we thank God who has been our strength and our source. And um, I can only say there are uh, some positives as well. 
and uh, that's in the area, you know, there is an adage in Yoruba, is it on or and um, you know, this has given some of us that um, ability to be able to sit and think that, okay, what other ways can we, or other areas can we exploit? and then you know, try to do something else apart from our regular jobs. Even though we know, you know, sitting at home, the social distances and what have you, you know, affected some of the things we will have done. But somehow, you know, we're able to back some other ventures that we could, you know, go into, that we know by the time we get our normal lives back, we can actually go into these areas. So it has helped to give some kind of um, you know, vision to raise new ideas on what to do apart from what you know, we've been regularly doing. So I think that's the positive there now. We thank God for that. And you see, just as we were getting out of that, then the protest started again. And you know, it's really, it's really been summer, I don't know, <laughs> yeah, 2020 is a year that I pray it will never reoccur in history. Uh, I just don't want to experience this kind of situation again that we've you know, endured in the year 2020. But still, the year is running to an end, so we are hopeful that the coming year you know, will be a year where we'll be able to make up from all that we have experienced in the year 2020. You know, let's, let's just thank God for life. Okay. Um, can you please tell us your experience? Either your personal experience or any experience at all that uh, you feel like sharing with us? Please. We would like to know. Experience. <laughs> experience one sitting at home all day <laughs> that could be very very boring you know very very boring and um, you know it got to a stage that uh, to even feed became a challenge and this is a part of the experience I've had in this 2020 during the lockdown especially and uh, Somehow, we were able to pull through. And uh, you see, the children are, are as well being at home. <laughs> we spend more. In fact, they eat and eat and eat, and it's like the eating will never stop. But what can we do? What can we do? And, um, well, it gave some kind of... Um, togetherness you know talking about myself and my wife now there are some things we're able to see you know sit together discuss together uh, and I think one way or the other that helped and some of the experiences also uh, that I think I had had to be you know how to reach out to my parents you know situation whereby banks were not working to even get across to them became a challenge and you know, these were very horrible experiences that I just don't want to talk about anymore wow. please what do you think will have made it better it will have been better much better if we never had first place. I'm sure uh, I will have achieved so much because I had my dreams, I had my plans and then unfortunately, unfortunately this pandemic made a mess of everything. Uh, so it could only have been better if we never experienced it. It could have been better and I'm sure I will have had a lot to show for in this year 2020. But then, 
I can only thank God and I'm very, very hopeful, very, very, very hopeful that come 2021, I'm going to have a lift and just continue from where the pandemic actually stopped me. That's uh, my hope and belief. And I'm sure by the grace of God, I will surely get there. The last but not the least, what are your wishes for year 2021? Yes, my wish for 2021. Uh, yes, I think um, I've said that earlier. So it's just been like repeating this. My wish is it's, um, yes, to be at another level. Totally, you see, uh, my ideas and um, um, the rebirth of a new venture that I said earlier, you know, uh, will survive, will hit the ground proper, and um, become a better person because I have it all structured out already so it is my wish that um, I'll have a favorable platform talking about the economical aspect of it um, you know to really make it something big you know for myself that's my wish wow anyway this is where we are going to draw the curtain for today's Vlogmas. If you have been able to get to this stage by watching the video from beginning to the end, I say thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And I come your way with another wonderful and interesting Vlogmas. I say bye-bye. And, uh, oh, duh.